The GLAAD Media Award for Outstanding TV Movie or Miniseries goes to Prayers for Bobby. Oh my goodness. Um, wow, I'll just put that down. Uh, oh my goodness. Um, thank you so much. You know, um, these guys are the real heroes. Chris Taff and Daniel Sladek and David Permit, who's not here tonight, spent 13 years trying to find a home for this movie to be made. They're the real heroes tonight for that. I just want to say um, how honored I am uh, and have been to be part of Prayers for Bobby uh, to tell Mary Griffith's story. Um, she was so generous to me, really speaking to me so plainly, uh, mother to mother, about the mistakes she'd made. And it was such a great honor to be involved in her book with the great late Leroy Ahrens. Um, and uh, such an honor for all of us to be a part of it. And I just want to say, I love you. You are on the front lines fighting for our common humanity, which is the glory of all of us being who we are. And thank you so much for honoring Prayers for Bobby. Thank you very much. I'm Daniel Slotik. This is Damon Ginchowski, Chris Taff, uh, not with us tonight, our, our partner. Chris and I uh, uh, started this journey 13 years ago when Chris walked into a different light bookstore in Los Angeles and found Leroy Aaron's landmark book, A Prayers for Bobby, sitting on the new release shelf and picked it up. And, and that was the, the key that started the engine to this incredible journey. As Sigourney mentioned, we went through 13 years of so many false starts, uh, network turnaround, uh, financiers, all kinds of activity on this project. And ultimately, boy, did we get lucky because we got this movie made and there was no one other than Sigourney Weaver who could have portrayed Mary Griffith's life story as brilliantly as she did. So to Sigourney, we are incredibly grateful. Uh, Mary Griffith and her husband, Bob, and their three children met us in Leroy Aaron's backyard 13 years ago on a surprise visit to go meet the author of the book. And uh, Chris and I walked in to go meet the author and met the family, and it was one of those aha moments where you just recognize that you were in for something that was going to be truly life-affirming and life-changing. And uh, to say that this has been an unbelievable journey is, is uh, it goes without words. Ultimately, um, we thank you, we thank GLAD, we thank the community for embracing this film, and uh, we could not have done it without the support of, of so many people involved. Katie Ford, our screenwriter who jumped on board, day one when we offered the, the uh, film to her and she stayed with us for 13 years and uh, our financiers, our production team, everyone on it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, our director, Russell, and this is Damien, our producer. I just want to mention really quickly that we'd also very much like to thank Lifetime Television, Andrea Wong, Joanne Alfano, Stephen Bolka, Tony Lopez, our other producing partner, Once Upon a Time Films, Stanley and Brooks, who couldn't be here tonight, and our amazingly talented director, Russell Mulcahy, who uh, brought this to the screen. Thank you. And I just want to add our wonderful cast and the state of Michigan, but particularly Ryan Kelly, who played Bobby, without whom I could never have played Mary, and the amazing Dan Butler. The first week, of course, I had whole, all my huge breakdown scenes, and Dan was just a rock, and thank you so much, so thank you. Thank you.